YouTube, YouTube, say hi to Twitch chat. Hi. Now, um, I'm a massive Warhammer nerd. I've been playing Dark Tide for God knows how long. Um, I, I, I'm an avid Warhammer enjoyer. I was a kid, when I was a kid, I started collecting Warhammer when I was like 14. Some kid gave me a random, uh, ultramarine that he had and then I was hooked and every time I handed in my homework and I did well in school my parents would buy me a box of Warhammer and I ever since I, I just loved the idea of painting them and only really recently in like the last five or so years I've actually got interested in in the law uh, especially with things like Astartes and everything like I've always had an interest in the law but I've never really looked into it and over the last like three or four years I've actually taken a vested interest to learn more about it and such so um I've never seen this video um, I think maybe as a way to educate ourselves, we can all watch this together. Yes, yes. So chat, sit back, relax, because we're about to learn about every single Warhammer Space Marine Legion in a nutshell. Yeah. To the people on the internet. That's me! The I'm on come. the internet! The reckoning begins. begins. Your boy got himself a shaker cup. When can I be on a cup? Chat, make this happen. <sighs> After Thing is, you damn well know that if I got my own shaker, many, it certainly wouldn't be a flavor that would be publicly acceptable to say. Like Matt, my <laughs> favorite thing to do, we Macari boob sweat flavor. Or, uh, cup. It's here. The Macari bricky waifu shaker taste cup. Do you see paint. the gal on here? If, it, if it's not great at focusing, Yo, sure if I get my own shaker, that's, that's what it's going to be called. That's what it's going to be called. It's going to be called the taste of taint. A bit more toned abs, obviously, bikini. This man is my mood kindred. This man knows what I'm into. How dare he take advantage of my lust for anime waifus. Oh my gosh. Heeny hit it. Legally distinct mark on the face. Of course, she wants you to do the diddle okay, thing. Okay, you know what? That's, that, that's enough advertisement. Come across my every faction. We might, we might go back and watch this video at some point. I thought I'd go with the Space Marine one because it is kind of the one that I... Uh, Space Marines are what I started with, although now I'm a Chadley Orc player, so screw those Space Marines. Explain video. Because we's the best, and we's gonna bring on the war! Firstly, with me chopper. Thank you. Secondly, we are here to dig a little deeper. Space Marines are the quintessential poster boys of Warhammer 40,000. When people think 40k, they think Space Marines, but... There are many types of space marines formed from 20 separate legions. We are going to rattle them off in order. Okay, what I know about the space marines law. Uh, God Emperor kind of did a bad, did a stupid and got himself killed because his brother or son or a significant other decided that he wanted to sit on the potty and he wasn't daddy's special little boy anymore. Uh, every Primarch basically betrays him because they're not daddy's special little boy anymore. And every space marine faction has some kind of genetic bullshittery going on and the world is fucked. Warhammer's terrible. Uh, and the word that everyone's dying and and yeah order and give you a quick rundown of each one i just gawk is best no it's mork stop fighting the only true god is Daka. Claimer, like in my oh, every faction explain video, this is a mix of accuracy and memes. If I say the salamander, ah, we all love region, memes, don't we guys? Specializes in hugging children and petting puppies. They aren't exactly doing that, mostly. I want to pet this creature. But you can infer that they care about civilians and are a bit well, kinder do not than the average the Space Marine. Space Marine suicide bomber. being a I just want to pet this for once. Had a million new and terrifying organs shoved into them, refrigerators strapped to their bodies, and are so uh -huh, far uh -huh. above the average human that they this were- This scene was very evidently copied. They very evidently copied this from the intro to StarCraft 2. Very obviously. You guys have seen that StarCraft 2 intro, right? You know what I mean? I mean, to be fair, the space, the, the, the Marines in StarCraft 2 were inspired by Warhammer. 
referred to as demigods instead. Each space marine has a father. It's one of those things, you, right? Space marines primal, are so fucking powerful that what, the Imperial guards could be in a war in a and they're the doing that war really hard. They're like, oh God, we're struggling, we're fighting. They could have lost millions of troops to claim 10 meters of soil. And then a single battalion of space marines comes along and does what the Imperial guards took months to do in the space of hours. Space marines are way too OP. Giving them the powers and skills of their associated. Like if, if there was going to be a Warhammer a movie about around the uh, Astartes the genetic makeup or of the their Adeptus uh, Militarum. The, uh... Their you would have, so it would be so I cool to base that entire movie around the perspective of the Imperial Guards and they're like fighting, they're struggling, they're dying, they're, they're like on the struggle bus, bus to succeed their objective and then they get to the end of their objective, they're tired, they're worn down, almost everyone is dead and then the Space Marines come in and what took these guys the entire movie to do the space marines do in five seconds, and then the the space marine pulls off his helmet, and and it, and it's Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> On of the white scars has the genetic makeup that wants him to go really, really fast. Then his sons, the Space Marines, also want to go really, really fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So lo lots of uh, referring to <gasps> the legions as Imperial fists. Imperial fists. Okay, if I wasn't gonna play, if I if I hadn't have played Ultramarines and I knew the Imperial fists existed originally, I would have played Imperial fists. These dudes are badass, and the only reason is because because they get shields. Around. If you're interested in sub factions like, let's say, the Black Templars, then it's not going to be here. However, I do have a excellent we need to get Black back Templar watch, video. Um, I argue it's probably the most accurate one I can uh, think of. It goes through the whole lore, everything about Empress them. It's a very speech. long video. So I'll put it in the description. Just look up Black Templar. Oh, the video Black. In the uh, what was it? The green. You'll get what you need. And now with the easy Dark explanation Angels? out of the oh, yeah. way, Dark let Angels us begin and Black Templar are a faction into themselves. Like they've got their own lore and codex and everything. Dark Angels. Dark Angels. Allegiance? Loyal. Kind of. <laughs> Primarch Lion L. Johnson. There he is! A knight. A real asshole, I'm not Got gonna lie. The, void. the single word descriptor? Paranoid. The dark I have to say, most of my lore that I've come to learn has been through watching Emperor's text to speech. I can't tell if any of it's actually canon or not, but you know what? Empress text to speech is friggin' funny, so funny equals true, right? Based and real. <laughs> Dark Angels are our first legion, hailing from the death world known as Caliban. Their Primarch, <laughs> Lion L. Johnson, is what happens when you try to make the side profile Chad meme into a genuine character. He is a master tier duelist, a brilliant strategist, and an overall dick. There are few. Maybe a master beta, if you will situations he isn't prepared for and few fights he isn't ready to lead head on this makes the dark angels have a very knights of the round table vibe. i remember when they i was in the games like workshop and i saw the dark angels and i had to ask the person in the store why do these space marines have their own codex have, like, ezekiel Azrael, and the person Belial, behind the counter said they're special so marines However, they're the daddy's special little boy and i was like oh are, the are they are they fun to play like no no that no no don't play them don't play them very heavily trying to expunge all knowledge of them from existence. Fallen? What fallen? Never heard of any fallen. Do you know about the fallen? We're gonna take you away and mind probe you to make sure you have never heard of the fallen. What's don't that? Exist. Is that, that a, exist, is that a, is that a slight amount of heresy that I hear? Well, you shall be exposed. Bunged from existence! We will find them even though they don't exist. They love their interrogations. They thrive in it. Lionel Johnson is a scorched earth policy sometimes, and it's given to his sons in force. Which makes sense, considering that when the lion heard of a chaos Primarch on a homeworld different Primarch, whose mom was there, he was like... <laughs> Let's nuke it. The Dark Angels are a special group where they formulate. I like your voice. Three Shut factions. up! I like They're your face. Terminators, slow moving, Dude, tough failing. Dude, one of my one of my very first ever models was this metal slug of a Terminator. Like back in the day when Warhammer, when your special units used to be made out of metal cast. Um, I had an entire squad of metal Terminators, and these things were so heavy that you could throw them at someone and bludgeon them with it. Raven Wing, fast jet bikes and flyers, and the Green Wing, which is your standard Marines. They are a jack of all trades, but not in the sense where they're good at everything, but rather they have a lot of things that are yeah, good. Yeah, the world would certainly have a lot less problems like in it if you gave every space a goddamn a missile launcher. They instead have 20 Just people. Saying with gigantic power tools for every job imaginable. If you like being suspicious about everyone and everything in your surroundings, but you also- 
Being a Dark Angel is like being a VTuber that is too wary of every, every other VTuber in existence to bother collabing with them, and then accuses them of poaching their viewers. You know who you are. Like to have a whole lot of deep night type lore. Run the Dark Angels. The One Piece! The One Piece! The Dark Angels are also the faction that Moist Critical would make a video on explaining that they're causing way too much drama. Just saying. This is real! Our second Legion is a special one. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see, yeah, the numbers. The Emperor's all go children. Eleven. The Emperor's children. Ah, yes, the Emperor's children. They're not saying that they're chaos, but they're basically chaos. Allegiance, traitor. Primarch, Fulgrim, a perfectionist, an artist, a sneaky, sneaky snake, and the single word descriptor, perfection. The Emperor's children are all about the pursuit of perfection. Perfection. Perfection in all they do. Perfection in war, in artistry. They're purple. It means they are instantly the best. And perfection in every other aspect of life. Their armor is a gleaming pink, purple, and gold. Their ships have spires Ooh. of gorgeous marvel and gold statues in their honor. Fulgrim is a man who believes the pursuit of perfection is the goal of all things. And I mean, look at him! Can Going by all technology standards, perfect, does this mean the that these features. guys are the sneakiest of the go, space marines as the well? One you look at, and if 40k had a guy that would give you the Best sex you- If 40k had a fucking femboy with a dick the size of your body, that would be Fulgrim. <laughs> ever had and never call you back, this is the fucking guy. Which Fulgrim has a daddy material written all over him. Which is why this pursuit of decadence led them to the evils of chaos. Yes. Yeah. Emperor's children are our first chaos legion and not just a normal one. One devoted to, you guessed it, Slanesh. The prince yeah, of my pleasure, girl. God She's my of sister. Unspeakable She's my sister the from another sister. The children in their pursuit are now horrifying. Slanesh. Slanesh walks around. Slanesh goes around and she's and followed around by the song Death by Snooze. Death by Snooze. Death by Snooze. No. And they slaughter, aiming for perfection in war. Fulgrim himself lost the battle against Slanesh as a demon sword corrupted his mind and transformed him into the sexy man he was, into the sexy snake he is now. A demon. I was not aware of his transformation into this. Why does he look better as a snake demon than he did as a human? It, it's, it's the pink sclerers, I think. It's the goddamn black, the goddamn stupid himbo snake. Ah! Death by snake, snake, death by snake, snoo! Primark corrupted and bringing his legion's will by himself. As far as Emperor's children go, they are some bad people. They do horrible, horrible things to anyone and everything. In fact, they're such trolls that their battle cry is for the Emperor, despite being <laughs> horribly mutated and corrupted. <laughs> if you've ever taken a little Dude, too much Dude, that's, so ch that's such a or, Chad or move. Maybe the music at the concert was too loud and didn't bring any earplugs or whatever the reason. You just take all those things and you dial it and you dial it. And <laughs> My war chant is, brother, I am pinned here. Not that I want to get up. <laughs> and you twist it and the knob breaks. And that is the Emperor's Children. God Isn't there an entire Space Marine faction that use God sound and music? I swear that's a thing. Have killed him. The Iron Warriors. Allegiance, traitor. Primarch, Percherabo, a warlord. Percherabo? Percherabo? I hardly Single knew her. Descriptor, Siege. Continuing the trend of our Chaos Legions, we have the Iron Warriors led by Primarch Percherabo of Olympia. To oh, understand like the Iron dude, Warriors, though, one must first understand Percherabo. A man so bitter, coffee beans run from him. Oh, he's a like man who hates absolute the world himbo material. Everyone in it, who never got recognition for his deeds, who hates his brothers and hates their accomplishments even more. Someone. So Is he describing my relationship with my sister? I think he is. So laughably petty, so incredibly bitter that he goes full circle to becoming likable. Why? Because he's competent. The Horus Heresy. <laughs> we didn't talk about the Horus Heresy. Intermission. So 
Ah, uh, yes. was the emperor's favorite son, right? You know, when daddy's emperor. special what? little boy Fuck wasn't so special anymore. Dad, Dad, I just gifted a Max, thank you for the resub. Chat, if you're watching, we're, we're, we're recording to YouTube, so, you know, say hi to YouTube. We're, we're, we're becoming Warhammer enjoyers together. 150 subs to Amaranth, and she said my name a ton, and she loved me. What? 150 subs? Well, if he's gonna gift 150 to Amaranth, where's my 150, huh, bitch? God. For it. I really think that I might get to meet her one day. And it kind of played out Chat, something like unlike this. unlike this poor sap, if you gift 150 subs to me, I will basically ignore you and just say thank you. <laughs> I d don't do that. Your feelings for her are not real. They are real to me! And then it started playing out a little He's bit He's also like the this. dude that consists entirely Let of thinking that parasocial spoil. relationships are the only Let way of talking to people. Oh, I, I, I love the Warhammer the universe. Like, the aesthetic is so delightful. Look at those things. Yeah. Who doesn't like a giant mech so that's going to destroy everything? The Horus Heresy wouldn't have gotten shit done without Peter Turbo. Imagine an entire faction that is the personification of brutal industrialism, where you serve the Legion until your dying breath. You build... I love their armor. That whole, like, the, this is the one faction that, uh, along with the Iron Fists, that really personifies that like medieval kind of vibe because the whole thing with warhammer is that there's kind of like that element of grim dark um kind of like zealotism and not obviously religious undertones but there's like that whole uh holy war kind of thing going on which i absolutely adore kill and you siege and you kill and you literally summon demons just to take them and trap them in machines Why is he using and the weapon use them from as Doom? cannon fodder. This is a thing they do. They summon demons to trap and use as shock troops. The Iron Warriors are siege warfare incarnate. They are heavy weapons. They are tanks. They are turrets and they don't die they hate imperials they hate imperial fists do you need a pacifier iron baby <laughs> no no i don't they are bitter incarnate Perturabo and the oh. iron warrior of the chaos god okay let's get back to watching gods because they like them they serve them because fuck you come on guys let's go not another speeding ticket <laughs> i'll fight it in court but i don't think they're gonna accept gotta go fast as a medical condition the white scars dude Allegiance, one of my friends collected Spymark, these guys and his entire Jagatai army Khan, consisted of a bikers demon, a plane strider why a why walk god. when you can Single ride descriptor speed hailing from if there was Shigora. a faction so that would exist in a mad max universe speed. it'd be these they guys they love melee but they love it even more when they are doing it from a motorcycle or land speeder dude or, one of my honestly, favorite units i ever owned with my space really marine was a biker the white scars are bolters. honestly forgotten about a lot and that's lore accurate they are a legion that doesn't seek the recognition or glory from the combat they engage in they engage in it because it is their duty and because they love it not in the insane slaughter enjoyment of loving it, but in the thrill of the fight, they are no. <laughs> there are two types of people. There, there are the chaos that are the ones you should worry about, and then there are the these kind of good, these are the good boys. You know, the, these are the good boys. These, the, the these are the boys that you pat on the head and tell the them they're doing a good job. A smile on their these face are the wholesome and a beans. in their throat. And as you can tell by their Primarch's name, they are Mongolian based. Remove horses and replace them with motorcycles and land spears, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's your style. They are heavily based on the old times of Genghis Khan, and consider this is 40K and everybody's evil. No, that fits. <laughs> the white scars are actually physical scars on their body, going back to their heritage on Chagoras. The Khan himself is kind of a dickhead, but, but a reasonable one. He thinks ahead, he's intelligent, he's patient. He is often underestimated because he doesn't scream his accomplishments from the rooftop. He also this isn't is wearing typical space green armor, dangerous. which I think is one of the only primarchs that does that. are kept at bay, only to be truly shown when the time is needed. The white scars are a forgotten legion often, but that doesn't diminish their hi, accomplishments. Hi, hi, yeah, All it does... Track, is surprise those who underestimate them. Speed, awesome Mongolian vibe they got going on. And if you really One of the things like I absolutely love about the Warhammer people, universe as well is that they have a really big focus you. on melee Shameless combat. So many of these break. other sort of sci-fi sci -fi games have, or sci-fi universes wolf, wolf, wolf. always put focuses on the... Uh, the furries! The space wolves. The furries! The furries have arrived! In all... These are the people that scream, if in all realms except physical, I identify as a dog. Allegiance, loyalist. Primarch, Lehman Russ. A biker, a savage, the, tank the Undertaker. Single word descriptor, 
Wolf, 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 wolf. There's so many goddamn wolf units. Skater, chat. Can we get a woo in the, in, the in, the, in, our, in our chat to, the to celebrate the, the space the space wolves? A woo! The space wolves are the sixth legion and hail from Fenris, a frozen wasteland of a world with their primarch. A woo! No, I don't really dicks, need to spend a, a whole lot of time talking about the space wolves a because woo. it's very obvious who they are. They are the second no, most the like obvious what their shtick is legion in the twenty legions besides the world eaters. When you look at the space wolves behind what do you see do you That's see vikings in space you've done it give them congratulations <laughs> you have found vikings in space in all, but they have as in all realms except physical i identify as a dog <laughs> yeah well wow. that's what they would say for sure these are these are the dudes that you can throw a bone to and they'll fetch it like i will once you call <laughs> a regular marine as an all day viking with, with like a roman soldier you see as a space marine your body is so enhanced that what's you that funky looking shit Oh my god, that's that just looks so wacky. It doesn't look nearly as uh it really doesn't look nearly as threatening when you take away the pipes and stuff leading into their heads. Like look at that shit. It's so stupid. Looks like goofy ass looking shit. <laughs> filter out poison. He so it's so small. Distill a special mead out of a horrible poisonous plant that would kill a normal human so they could get drunk. They have fangs. In their mouth. I got they fangs. Cannibalize their enemies. Yeah, yeah they, sometimes they eat people because they gain knowledge about them from there and about. Oh, so that's you know same same except except from eating people, it's sucking dick, and that's how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason I guys. That's the reason I suck dick so much. It's because every time I blow someone, I gain knowledge from their load. Honest, that that that's the only that's the reason. I don't I don't do. <laughs> it's it's for practical purposes, of course. So um, dr drop drop your pants. I need knowledge. <laughs> Battle plans. The space wolves are savages. They're raiders. They're Vikings. But despite all of this, they are loyal to their core. Lehman Russ is an egotistical guy who just shouts stories and tales of his accomplishments everywhere they can. But at the same time, he was so damn loyal that instead of gunning down his foes, he hit him with a fucking backbreaker to show <laughs> his devotion, his devotion to wrestling. If you want Vikings in space, ah, you those found Nefers, it. Texas Play the thing. Vikings in space. We're gonna build the wall. We have no choice. We have. If you didn't, if. When you first start playing Warhammer and you play Space Marines, there's a high probability that you're going to play Ultramarines because it's what the Games Workshop decided to shove in your face. However, if you look past Ultramarines and you decide that there's going to be something, a different Space Marine faction you go for, usually it's Imperial Fists or Dark Templar that people go for. Black Templar, no sorry. Choice. Build that wall. Build, Build that, that wall. wall. Build that wall. The Suck Imperial dick. Fists. What? Allegiance. Loyalist. Primark. Rogel Dorn, a God, builder, he's a, Chad. a phalanx, and he needs a hand. Single word descriptor, fortify. The Imperial Fists are led by Primarch Rogel Dorn, their homeworld of Inwit. However, they themselves are actually a fleet-based chapter with their main source of recruitment coming from an enormous moon-sized ship called the Phalanx. The hmm. Fists are a chapter you think of when you think of duty. They love to serve. <laughs> he said the love duty. to serve and the inability to be moved. Rogel Dorn is very an uh th these a guys remind me a lot of uh, and uh, a rock in brain and body. A lack of humor or ability to lie shows that he is as blunt as the weapon <laughs> not the swords he makes, but like Well, I did need to pee, but now I don't. Uh, I'm a I'm a, I'm a go, I'm I'm a be I'm a be right back. I I I got I got to no no reason, but I got to be right back. And this video is gonna be very hard Thanks. to edit now, thanks to you. As gear, I'm trying to record a video. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, at first I didn't need to pee. Now I don't need to poop either. <laughs> Like blunt, strong weapons. The fists are Ew, the same. Take stinky. your archetypical American Marine style look, a buzz cut, a hard sense of duty, and then throw in some power armor and a love for building defenses, and you have the See what I mean? It's that fists. phalanx they kind of thing they got immovable. going. Their shields when you are find so. A spot, they're Roman ready to defend. -like. You, you can't breach them. Their knowledge of defensive warfare is paramount. Without them, the Horus Heresy would there have been so much more effective. There are some amazing animations out there that people have made using Source Build Make with these guys. Tenacity, the Imperium lives Send today. Five, and let's not forget that Iron Warrior and Imperial Fist rivalry. Want to know why the Iron Warriors are so bitter? These guys are the reason why. Next! Where is he going?
<laughs> Is that a Lehman Russ? <laughs> hey! Hey, that could have killed me! <laughs> hey, guys! We missed! Get another! Dorn and Hunch Robo are basically <laughs> two sides of the same coin. I mean, coin. you could have used the cannon, but, you know, throwing it, rubbing it in jobs. the wound a bit more. If you want to be defensive, to be good at everything space marines are good at, bolters, heavy weapons, vehicles, you want a classic military fighting force, start fisting. I am having a very bad day. This, today, is one of the worst days. Oh, boy. Are these the emo boys? Oh, boy, here we go. The Night Lords. Yep. Allegiance. Yep. Heretic. If you grew up listening to Nightwish, Linkin Park, you had that edgy emo phase. These are the kids that never grew out of it. <laughs> Primark, Conrad These are the people Kurs, that when they turn 25, sadist, identify as Vlad and uh, like to drink Single blood word, martinis. Fear. The Night Lords are my favorite legion, hailing from Nostromo and their Primark, Conrad Kurz. They are a traitor legion from a planet known as the Sunless World or the World of Endless Night. Nostromo is a horrible hive seed. Look, just because your planet doesn't have a sun doesn't mean you have to adhere to the fact that you should. You, you sound like you should probably be some <laughs> gothy faction of some kind. Maybe you should, like, go against the grain. Subvert expectations. Maybe dress up in all fancy flowers and such. It has known for me host to some of the worst gang violence, murder, and working conditions around. The only thing keeping the population in check is the suicide rate. The Night Lords followed in the footsteps of their Primarch, a man who believed in a twisted sense of justice and that the only way to make humans compliant is through fear. The Legion's lesson has been- So... The Chaos Legion are the British government is what I'm getting. Because they have the same tendencies, it seems. Fear, make humans fear them. Subversion, hate all humans. Do everything to despise them. Yeah, that, 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 that's, the, that's the British government. Yeah. Lost on them as their ranks were repopulated by gang members, murderers, arsonists, torturers, and other words I can't say on YouTube as young as 12 years old. Murderers before they were even teenagers. <laughs> Could you imagine a 12 year old space marine? Like, it's, it's like that, like, um, mini Shelby, Thomas Shelby, like baby Thomas Shelby little meme that's been going around. Oh my God. Could you imagine? You just got this little, it's like that, it's like that, um, st uh, it's like that Starship Troopers meme of, I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. And then there's that kid at the end who's like, I'm doing my part. And they all laugh because it's a child and they all know they're going to die. <laughs> Teenagers raised to become demigods. Now fear is what they sow and flesh is what they reap. The night lords are scum. They are the exact opposite of all other legions. They torture and they maim and they flay because they think it's fun. They run away often so they can come back and kill you with more numbers. They prey on the innocent and the weak. They kill normal civilians because it's easy and flee any battle where they don't possess overwhelming odds. They are the antithesis of normal space marines. They are scum. One time, a world did not comply to their demands, so they raided one of their ships and brought it into atmosphere. The crowds cheered and clapped as it appears that they had won the battle, and the airlocks opened, and the skinned and flayed bodies of the crew were thrown down in the populace. In other words, a legion of gangers and criminals. Add together a heavy Slavic influence to them. <laughs> and you've got my favorite Slav faction. Giant. You have not done the dishes for five years. So embarrassed when people come over here. Well, what does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them. Vampire <laughs> dishes. The Blood Angels. Allegiance, to be fair, and in their defense, Primark, dishes are hard to do. An angel of Like, you've got to figure out where the soap is and whatever else. Motherfucker. Single word descriptor. Blood. The Blood Angels are Ninth Legion, hailing from the homeworld of Baal, with their Primarch Sanguinius. The Blood Angels are a tragic tale, with one of the best Primarchs, one beloved by almost everybody, a genuine angelic figure who led his people to glory, killed 
by the hands of the traitor Horus before the Emperor's eyes. The death of their Primarch led the entire Legion to madness as their gene seed malfunctioned and created something known as yeah, the Yeah, so this is this is like the, 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 blood the thing I mentioned earlier. Like a lot, the, uh, a lot of the a lot of the space marines have this Red whole like thirst, genetic bullshit going on where they're just getting less and less thirst for pure blood as, time as their goes minds by. degrade and break. You know what we need? We actually need the Emperor's text-to-speech narrative to come into play and just bring the Emperor back so the Space Marines aren't so fucking sad anymore. Like, we need- we need- we need Daddy Emperor to come back and save his poor little boys. Break down, they get angrier and angrier, becoming berserk. Also, to bring back technology. No other goal than to tear everything in sight apart. But they don't see it as that. They see themselves there, at their Primarch's demise, with Horus in sight. And to them, it's time for vengeance. That space marine over there, that chaos space marine, that's Horus. Kill him. That orc war boss over there? <laughs> Horus. Kill him. That Tyranid swarm? 1,000 Horuses. That VTuber that relies on sex appeal and nothing but that to sell their content and somehow manages to get 5,000 views for no apparent reason other than the fact they've got a sexy model that really means nothing when they have with personalities like shit? Horus. Poor I! Kill them all! Did your toast come out a little bit burnt? Horus sabotaged your toaster. Destroy the toaster. Destroy it. Do it. Do it. Kill your toaster. Do it. This slow, debilitating disease takes over the microphone. blood angels and it gives them this angelic, vampire, and Catholic inspired imagery. They have chalices of blood. They rest in coffins and can even use psychic powers to sprout angel wings from their bodies. Yo, they are a tragedy that's pretty cool. through and through, and the only thing that will look more tragic are the mangled bodies of those they come in contact with. That's my toaster would be a rude bird. And honey, yeah, you could say it would be very uncredible. The Iron Duh. Hands. Allegiance, loyalist. Primarch, Ferris Manus, a machinist, an inventor, and not a great head on his shoulders. Single word, bionics. Bionic! Oh! The Iron Hands are from the home planet of Medusa and their Primarch, Medusa? Ferris Manus. I hardly Does knew Ferris her. Does Ferris Manus have an iron hand? <laughs> You fucking know he's got an iron hand. The iron hands believe that the flesh is weakness. But despite all of their enhancements, despite all the things that made them demigods, replacing some of the flesh with bionics will allow them to serve the emperor so... more. They go hard into Cyberpunk. vehicles and dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts being giant walking sarcophagi oh, dreadnoughts that have so cool. space marines piloting them I from remember the inside. What I, I owned vehicles, a, a purely metal, metal dreadnought back in the day. These are the things that make up this legion. These guys will get along with the adeptus mechanics with them. Arms sticking out from all directions. They have a wide array of mechanics and extremely often replace limbs with metal ones, serving all kinds of different functions to deal with their enemies. The Iron Hands are also not particularly nice. Uh, they're kind of assholes. I mean, Marines are already normally pretty big assholes, but but they, they're a little bit up there because of their... <laughs> it's a good thing that I like big assholes then. You know what? Just just run with that. <laughs> flesh. Ugh. Civilians made of flesh. Ugh. Ugh. Because you see, the flesh is weak. Flesh is corruptible. Bionics, but the flesh the is so malleable. Of the machine is Think of all the things you can do with flesh. So easily be corrupted. So if you want Wink. people who have this little techno fetishistic vibe to them that love their vehicles and their walking, these guys coffins, would get along with the tail. I hands. think. Understand, Commander? I was never here. Legion Eleven. These guys are like MI5. No deal makers, Wait, what are you talking there. about? I returned from, um, it's pegging time, is what I Touching mean. grass. <gasps> I'm pretty cool. With the grass touching him. Now let's continue our Warhammer lecture. This ruffles my jammies! <laughs> Okay, so what's going on here? I am a stupid sandwich! The World Eaters. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Angron. A butcher, a slaughterer. Like extremely, earth-shatteringly, unreasonably. Yeah, Empress Texas man. speaks Single word descriptor, anger. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Angry. Are you mad? You just I'm always angry. I'm so angry that you there are more everything people tier 3 to my channel. You should join the World Eaters. Home planet of Nuceria and Primarch Angron, who, if the name didn't suggest, 
is real fucking angry. Angron was raised a slave, forced to fight. <laughs> oh yeah. Gladiator. If he, if he's so angry, why won't he fight me? Come on, bitch, let's go. So we can go down. To... I got you. I got you. You're not angry enough to deal with me. Angron D's nuts. Pits. When he refused, they shoved old world tech into his brain so that if he ever felt any emotion other than anger, it caused Isn't that like that one chaos pain. faction that All wears his armor sons to constantly deal like pain to them? Also put like it's got like spikes sticking in into their, their skin so, so they're always in agony. Who literally feel I swear there's a chaos faction like that. If they are feeling any emotion other than anger, slap them with a freight train of armor, two goddamn chainsaw axes, and you can see what's going to happen. It's no wonder they're oh, that's corrupted these guys. by corn. They're honestly ah, yes, that's a these guys. surprisingly sad legion that I actually screwed up in a Assuming that they were all just angry murderers. I mean, they are, but they didn't start out that way. Their corn corruption degraded their intelligence, their yeah, free yeah, yeah. will, and made the powerful into. warriors into arguably even more powerful warriors, but blunt, like frothing at the mouth psycho warriors. The world eaters, this like is the I fact the you play. Wolves, if, they they so wear their constant if you unders. If you pick up space marines and you have a sibling, this is the faction your sibling picks up to hate you sleeve they are angry they want to kill things they want to kill you and maybe some of their friends and that's that's the faction they're red they're mad they're gonna run at you and these guys would get death. along very well like with that, the orcs. you play the world eaters or you like because they were hey you know, bye what's up at dude? one point a lot better than that most of warhammer was a lot better than that. i was once a lot better than that that was when i was in college haha <laughs> we're old college, and neither did anger on <laughs> It's it. It must. It is. Hey, on. Hey, Bali. Kite conceded. I'll cut your balls off. The Ultramarines. Allegiance. <gasps> Loyalist. Oh, God. Daddy's special boys. The Ultramarines. If even, even those who don't know what Warhammer is will know who the Ultramarines are. The faction whose insignia is literally a toilet lid. Thank you, thank you. List. Primarch Rabute Gilliman. That's how, yeah, that's how it's said. And Wait, what? What about Magnus Kalgar? Isn't he the Primarch? Analyst, a diplomat, a blueberry boy scout. Single word descriptor, duty. When you see space <laughs> like marines on duty. a box or just space marines in promotional material, notice how they are always colored blue. These are the blue space marines. The, these ones here, the ultramarines, who hail from the world of Macrog with their primarch, Rabute Gorilla Man. Ultramarines are, are the white bread of space marines. The, the grilled chicken with salt and pepper. And this is by no means an insult. They are plain Jane, but that's also because they are so goddamn good at their job. Their skill for warfare is paramount, but so is their ability for leadership. Gilliman for a while was a damn boring primarch for all the reasons he was great. Because no matter how hard you try, you do don't win a war without logistics, without supply lines, without trade routes, without infrastructure and economy. You don't win anything Hi, without all that stuff, and Gilliman knows it. I which do is miss, why I he do miss one of the largest army. standing I had empires in the Imperium, named Ultramar. And then which I is why them. his sons are the most recognizable of all the space marines. Which is why the only thing that rivals the weight of their victories is the weight of their egos. They are good yep. at everything yep. and bad at nothing. They are great at everything. That is a Boys. Them, but they are good at everything. Dude, the most interesting I, I, I remember when I had my Space Marine army, I always used to identify the lieutenants of each of my squads by painting one of their helmets red. And I thought I was the most badass person at my Warhammer club for doing so. Also, do you guys remember when the Space Marines used to have those like beak helmets? I straight up used to think the ones with the beak helmets were um actually bird people. <laughs> you, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? These dudes. Yeah, yeah, these these guys. I remember having like so, so many. I, I used to love these kind of Marines just because of their weird shaped helmets. And now I realize it's just because those are the, usually the booster packed soldiers. I, did, did they get rid of them entirely? Because I, I don't think I've ever seen them bef ever since then. And I thought they were the, I thought they were so cool. They're good at everything. The most interesting thing about the Ultramarines is their characters, as they are all now inflicted with various amounts of Ultra Depression for many reasons. Gilliman is, at the time of recording, the only playable Primarch currently on the tabletop, and the only one that has returned to the 41st millennium for the Loyalist side. He took one look at what his empires become, 
and immediately wanted to fucking die. Being forced <laughs> to lead everything he once hated, an Imperium rotten to its core with his sole responsibility to save it, is kind of what makes him interesting. They are a perfectly standard legion with perfectly standard ideals and great if you want a simple clean slate uh-oh stinky <laughs> funny poop poop funny Woo! the death hey. guard Elite why are they talking about my content like that how do they know the kind of content i make hey don't call me out like that bullshit bullshit hey i make more than just poop jokes i make titty jokes and and and, and penis jokes and and sometimes whims whimsical comments about chat being peggable agents Heretic, Primarch, Mortarian, a reaper, a poison, an ungodly stench. Single uh -oh, word descriptor, stinky. rot. The Death Guard hail stinky. from Barbaros with the Primarch Mortarium. The 14th Legion were known for their incredible resilience to damage. That's a lot of damage. Where the Imperial Fists were defensive thanks to tactics and posturing, the Death Guard were resilient because they could take a punch or, or a gut shot or, or a cannon to the chest and, and just keep on moving. They are low, yet they are resistant, which was only confounded as a Death Guard captain, Typhus, Matt, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking Dickhead about how, how much editing this guy would have had to have done for God each of one of these photos. Now, like, this guy must have had like an entire, like, several gigabytes of a folder filled with all this imagery. Damage has all but just gone away. They wade through gunfire, able yeah, to kill these are the mutants, ten like the times armor. over and continue unharmed. So all these guys are kind of like the infested from uh, StarCraft 2. You know, you got the you got the humans that get mutated and mm, disformed into like Zerg type beings. These are those guys. Their armor is as much a part of their body as their organic parts, and it's so cool. All while spreading rot and disease. It's a shame in the you can't even buy many models for these guys because their design is so cool. Master, where the Death Guard enter, plague spreads. People get sick and they die. They spread debilitating disease to all around them. Why would a Legion need to be anything more than very tanky when their enemies are falling over, puking, firing out of both ends, and having their skin peel off just by their presence? Entire worlds infested with a zombie rot. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure these. The guys that, that you fight flesh and metal tide. alike all while the legion advances slowly painfully allowing the disease they spread to take its toll before they reap the lives they believe belong to them and look at mortarian's model dude ah oh, so cool as fuck a gigantic moth with a gigantic scythe come on now the death guard for my next trick ah magnus i'm gonna fucking kill myself the thousand sons allegiance Heretic, Primarch, Magnus I know, the G. Red, What's, what a scholar, what you want? a sorcerer, a fucking nerd. Single word descriptor, magic. The Thousand yeah, Sons G. hail from their home world of Prospero. I'm the key. No, you! Magnus hey guys, you're all the cute. Red. The Eat final it, of our four major Chaos God factions, the Thousand Sons Yo, are disciples I don't know who Magnus Zeech, is, but he did nothing wrong. Ways. Heavily inspired by their Egyptian theming, the Legion themselves are slaves to the god of trickery and change. Most of them no longer even having a physical form, reduced to just dust, piloting suits Poof. of armor at the whim of Poof. a sorcerer leader. The Thousand Sons do not deserve their fate. There's a common joke that Magnus did nothing wrong. <laughs> this is untrue. He has done much wrong. However, he is very sympathetic, <laughs> mainly because the Space Wolves and Lehman Russ sought to end their rivalry through the annihilation of their legion, escaping only through the assistance of the Changer of Ways and forever changed because of it. Meanwhile, magic is their main tool. Take some Lovecrafty style abilities the eyes everywhere and potent spells i love their aesthetic it's so cool foes, where these are bolts of psychic lightning i remember i did a quiz one time and one of the questions is what's opening inside up a thousand suns and i put, or I put uh, the very a mummy of the universe and i got it wrong sons it's not sorcery dust. knows Nothing. no bounds uh, and they vicious very thank you so much for the follow so you're welcome, a fan to of like welcome to the chat see i'm just a new follower and you want a ton of them combined with a tragic backstory and a primarch who like mortarian looks fucking baller and the thousand sons are for you you fucking asshole there's no way you're a fucking cheater such a sore loser you're a cheater my dad works at nintendo <laughs> the sons of horus oh yeah well my dad could fuck your dad what no so, no sorry I, you know roll with or it or the luna wolves or the black legion allegiance heretic primark duh Horus, a warlord a treasured friend or the traitor himself single the man who started it all assault
The Sons of Horus are the formal name of Horus's legion hailing from the Land of Sonia. Twisted! The Sons of Horus themselves were assault troops. The strength of their attack was some of the most powerful in the legions. While the White Scars may favor speed for their strikes, the Sons of Horus were known for their overall offensive power. It was even said that if the Sons of Horus met the Imperial Fists, they would be at a stalemate for eternity. That's like However, a big thing the Sons these of Horus guys, are that? no longer because, well... They are now instead the Black Legion, led by Abaddon the Despoiler, who claims to succeed where his father failed. The Black Legion are still an offensive and assault-based force, but they act much like the these Ultramarines, are the, these are like the go to uh, Your standard factions black that people, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, space Marine, games go who for are known chaos. for recruiting in all these the same guys that were in, um, Anyone can become a member of the, the Black Fantasy Legion. Universe, Anyone I think? can swear allegiance to the War Master. You gain favor by not just one, but all four gods equally. Their famous line let the galaxy burn is the best way to describe them it doesn't matter what the outcome is so long as the imperium dies the black legion has done its job they are a legion formed from hatred and spite with a clear goal in mind as the dark gods are calling and the black legion are sure to answer hello do you have a moment to talk about our lord and you know it's one of those things i've always found funny yeah. it's like a, it's like power levels right Imperial Guard are just right humans, and it's nigh on impossible for a guardsman to kill a space mean in one-to-one -one combat. And really, Imperial Guard only ever win just for raw numbers. But you then have to be really concerned when, as an Imperial Guard, or any of these, like, typical humanoid-type factions, when you're sent up against any kind of space marine faction, whether it be Chaos or Astartes, because... These are the, like, when, when these dudes are going at each other, they're making sparks go fly. And you know that if you're fighting so a faction that has the ability to kill a space marine, you're in for a rough time. Oh. Fucking <laughs> the word bears. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Lord There's a lot of heretics Aurelian, in the Warhammer a universe. Preacher, a fanatic, a choir boy. Single word descriptor? zeal. If the Black Legion answer the call of the Dark Gods, what if instead you decide to call the gods first? Well, then the word bearers are for you. The 17th Legion led by Primarch Lorgar oh, on the planet <laughs> he's of such a Pitches. He's like handsome, the handsome man meme. Originally obsessed with worshipping the Emperor of Mankind as a god, they found that despite his divinity, he was not worthy of worship. Because... You know, he He's... raised their equivalent of Jerusalem to the ground for daring to worship you know, him. Like, if if, if, if the emperor is such if, a if god, god, why actually is he so showed up And was just like, Jerusalem is stupid. It just, it just destroyed the whole thing. Like, what would that do to your head? But there are gods that want worship and will reward those who do. The word bearers are chaos worshipers to a T. All. Chaos Gods. They specialize in demonic rituals, the summoning of demons, and the mutual possession of their own troops. They welcome demons to their bodies to fight as one. They exalt the- So, these guys in my Twitch chat? Literally getting pegged by demons? Wow. Dark Gods themselves for aid, and guess what? They answer. In the world of 40k, Satan doesn't just <laughs> call you back. He hops in his GT Mustang and he crashes on your couch. In the world of 40k, your rituals will end with genuine results. The word bearers know this. They know through sacrifices, through devotion, through dark baptism, the gods will answer and they will be rewarded. So they use it. They bring forth demons. They bring forth possessions. They bring forth the power of the neverborn, the damned and those that hide in the dark to bear against the Imperium. Lorgar You're making this faction there, sound awfully smiling, enticing, my dude. truth he always knew, the existence of gods Listen, and Rob the importance sick. of faith is a reality. And it is a tool he is using Yo, those to dudes got tusks. the galaxy. Dear Sir Stroke Madam, Fire! Exclamation mark. Fire! Exclamation mark. <laughs> Help me! The Salamanders. Allegiance? Loyalist. Primark? Wait, are Vulcan, they? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. I want to bet the Mary Suicide Bomber. Boy. Single word descriptor? 
fire. The salamanders hail from Nocturne, a volcanic planet home to their Primarch Vulcan. They Who, are the uh, largest had an of the space with some Not technology. numbers, but rather size. Vulcan, it, it, he is an enormous slab of beef. By far the largest. There are many thoughts going through my head right now, none of which would be acceptable for me to say on Twitch. <laughs> of all the Primarchs. However, don't let his size fool you, as he is also the kindest. Salamanders Aww, have the gentle juxtaposition giant. of looking frightening, being larger than other Marines, while also boasting an ashy, like, coal color skin and blazing red eyes, while simultaneously carrying around all manner of flame weaponry. So your average civilian might be spooked, but in reality, they are by far the kindest of all all the legions yeah. to those civilians. Vulcan believes that to safeguard the Imperium is to, at the end of the day, I mean, safeguard its people. So unlike what other would a legions who put their like? lives far and above the average human, the Salamanders spend significantly more time trying to Aww, save them, often so taking awesome. numerous losses by doing so. They are very independent as well. They're forgers and blacksmiths, maintaining their own weapons and crafting versions of it. They also have the very rare privilege of being able to see their families even after becoming uh. A space oh, marine. That's so they, cool. Th I never knew care, that. Which is the funny part. Man, I might because the might stop playing salamanders. Tall giant with flaming red eyes who just reduced a traitor to bubbling metal says, You have nothing to fear, young citizen. Take my hand. If you enjoy fire, melting things, and being the nicer of the marines, salamanders are for you. Raven Guard. Oh, one of my friends played this fact. Saga, sneak attacks don't work if you yell it out loud. The Raven Guard. Allegiance? Yeah, the big Oilers. faces. Primarch? Corvus Corax. A raven. A shadow. An industrial dance DJ. Another Single word boy. descriptor? Stealth. The Raven Guard are the final loyal. Well, if they're trying to be stealthy, why aren't they painted purple? I mean, you never see a pu you never see a purple orc, and they're the stealthiest of the lot. Legion at 19 and hail from the planet Deliverance with Primarch Corvus Corax. If it hasn't been made clear enough already, the Raven Guard are stealth specialists and proficient in all manners of assassination. Despite this, their signature winged jump pack and double lightning claw look is, well, not very stealthy. <laughs> they are named after, of course, the Raven and embody the entire concept of it as a herald of death. They are stealthy, patient hunters that have no problem with waiting how are you going to be stealthy wearing armor that makes you the size of a goddamn barnyard? And waiting and waiting until the moment to strike is at hand. It's not easy being a stealth faction when your stealth involves people in one ton of power yes, armor. Yes, thank you. That's what I'm way. saying. That more than anything it should not be used to show how ridiculous 40k is even though it is, but rather to show how good the Raven Guard are at their jobs. It's not about them sneaking around you without being seen, but it's also about them having lied in wait for so long that it wasn't until they were in striking distance that you even realized they had been there. And also, if you want, you know, edgelord marines with a long black haircut, pale oh, skin, boy, ravens kind of everywhere, if you want to feel the assassins and snipers abound, then the Raven Guard are for you. He could be in this very room. He could, could be, be you. you. It could, could be, be me. me. It could even, even be. be. <laughs> it's obvious. He was the red spy. The Alpha Legion. Allegiance? Heretic. Primark, uh -huh. Alpharius, and Omegon. Saboteurs, destabilizers, they're in your walls. Single word descriptor, God, you know, the, espionage. The, the sheer amount of her her heretical factions should be a testament for how piss poor the... Uh, Emperor did raising his children. The fact that so many of them diverted to chaos. Children, I don't know what I did. I'd raised you as best I could, and this is the thanks I get. Where did I go so wrong? Finally, the 20th Legion, the Alpha Legion, led by Alpharius and Omegon. The only Legion to have two Primarchs who were split as twins. The Alpha Legion are heretical we think, and specialize in destabilization of society and armies. Their entire shtick is the Hydra, because when you cut off one head, two more take its place. All of the Alpha Legion look exactly like their Primarch, olive skin, shaved head. All claim to be Alpharius, 
all Ooh. are liars. They make the largest use of sleeper cells and cultists in the Chaos Space Marine factions because it's extremely easy to I take like over that color. a planet when you poisoned our water supply, burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses. Where the Raven Guard use stealth and sabotage to eliminate their enemies, the Alpha Legion prefer to weaken them over time with sleeper agents, impersonations, basically anything you could imagine from a hardcore spy movie or, or Cold War level espionage. Being Alpharius is not <laughs> I'm Alpharius. No, I'm Alpharius. No, I'm Alpharius. We're all Alpharius. Of Alpharius. <laughs> down the Alpha Legion agents for like years upon up. years, and when they finally catch up with them and they see them, they see that the Education agent is wearing the same needs. face as their pursuer, because this was the plan all along, to kill him and take his spot. We're <gasps> talking facial reconstruction surgery. We're talking hacking. We're talking political assassination and impersonation. Everything. They so these guys are the Russians? <laughs> they are space marines in name only. Because being a strong stoic warrior is not what the Alpha Legion is interested in. In fact, the Alpha Legion is interested in you not even knowing that the Alpha Legion is a thing. I am Alpharius. You are Alpharius. We are all Alpharius in his Lord's Russian glorious to army. Legions. Thank you everyone Aye. so much for watching this video. I oh hope shit, it's done! A little something. I hope if you were on the fence about what Space Marines you wanted to field, you would now have a better idea of what you want to play. Right, that looks Bye, like my gamers. Oh my god, you know what? That is a perfect end scene to wrap up with. God damn. You know, I thought I knew a lot about the Space Marine factions, considering it was a faction that I kind of started my whole Warhammer journey with, but god damn. Damn, that's crazy. I love it. Hey, stop! I love it. This guy. Why? I just don't get it. I always catch you fucking. Thing is, you could spend an hour. You could spend hours on a single faction explaining their ins and outs. This guy did a really good job summarizing it, and kind of makes me want to start playing Space Marines again. But you know, you know what? If I were to play Space Marines, I certainly wouldn't play Ultramarines. I can tell you that for a fact. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like the video, comment, leave whatever down below, and I'll see you all in the ah, oh, next video. Bye-bye.